Okay, in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is uh, function blocks, uh, basically setting up uh, function block programming. And this will be uh, just in this video will be a timer example, uh, timer on, timer off, uh, resets, and stuff like that. So uh, I just started a new program. This is will be fully emulated, so I wanted to show you from scratch. So uh, what we'll do is make a new routine. Again, uh, this is going to be a function block diagram, so we'll go ahead and call that uh, FBD. Uh, and then we'll just actually start it from there. So um, as you know, if you if you haven't worked it, with it already, uh, I'll go ahead and explain it. As soon as you open up the function block diagram, it comes and if you open up right click and go to properties, your sheet uh, layout is going to be an 8 by 5 by 11. Um, it's better to have, uh, you know, you better to, while you're offline, to change it to a bigger size. Um, I preferably like to use the 11 by 17. And you'll see the screen um, expand. This actually gives you more room to program and gives you a better viewpoint. So, uh, with that said, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and download to the processor because we'll do everything live. So, uh, I'm in slot one. I'm going to download to the processor. And again, this is fully emulated, so, you know, nothing to lose. Okay, so uh, we'll throw it in run mode. Okay, so at this point, what we're going to do, and if you didn't see that, let's... Uh, it's it's green right now I can't add anything or do anything like that you hit the uh, start pending edits up here and basically <clears throat> we're gonna go up here to our timer and we're gonna grab a uh, timer with a reset so uh, it's a, uh, a TONR and we can change the tag name and just say uh, timer reset And basically we'll have that okay so this what, what we're going to do is we're going to grab an input reference from up here and we're going to go in and throw it into uh, timer enable and then we'll call this timer enable for the sake of you know what we're doing so um and then we're going to grab another input reference and put a preset in here the preset we're going to uh, drag over to pre and then we're going to just hard code that to uh, two and a half seconds okay so at this point um, what we're going to do is we're going to have it automatically reset when it's done and that way is if the timer enable is on it's going to automatically reset every time it's done so we'll show that real quick um, the reason it's not going to run right now in two, I need to throw um, a JSR in there. So I'm going to jump to my subroutine real quick. Um, I'm going to actually assemble that and then come back here. And what I want to do, instead of going to my tag database, is I'll come up here to watch and I'll throw a one into my. Uh, the timer enable so you see the timer is enable it's actually working it's actually resetting itself now let's actually go and take this a step further let's throw in another timer okay and let's <clears throat> in this case let's get rid of this reset and let's throw this down here so that the preset is the same and the timer enable is going to be the done of this one. And the reset to this is going to automatically reset. So what this is going to do, and we'll call this uh, timer two. Uh, is reset. So let's do that and then we'll come back up and label the other one we'll come back up and label the other one uh, timer um, one 
with reset. Okay, so now we have them labeled and what we'll do at this point is once this is on and this times out, it will enable this one. When this times out, it will come back. You'll see, and then it will be an on and off timer, right? So then it comes in and resets this. Now what we didn't do is tie in the reset up here. So what we need to do is drag this to the reset. So, and this is, of course, it's gonna give this, this right here. And what we need to do is assume data availability. So when we do that, and we need to kind of spread this down a little bit so we can see it. Sorry about that. Um, so then we'll come back and now we have a free running timer. So this is basically the same as a, a flasher timer in, um, in basically a standard ladder logic, right? So and to prove that out, if we had an output, we can use an output reference over here. And we'll name this uh, flasher light bulb. And that way you'll see that index on. <clears throat> you won't actually see it come on, but what you'll do is we'll come up to the watch and, and uh, bring that back down. And you'll see this come on. So you see this right here. Um, as this first timer comes true, it holds that flasher bulb on for two and a half seconds and then drags it back down and, and cuts it off for two and a half seconds. So that's uh, basically in um, a flasher timer scenario. And what we'll do um, at this point is we'll throw in... Uh, uh, actually, I'm sorry. Let's, uh, let's close that out and let's throw in a text note. What we'll do is we'll call this a flasher timer example uh, for YouTube. And it would be nice if I spelled it right. YouTube. Okay. So, um, and this will be just an example for that. So, uh, this is just this little short example of, you know, using a um, function, function block diagram to, with a couple simple timers to control it um, with the resets and everything and, and uh, just how to use it and how to go about it real quick. Um, so, I just wanted to actually show that and to also highlight the fact that if you are interested in learning more, um, and I know hardly any of you actually stay to the end of the video, but if you are interested in learning more and you did stick around to the video, uh, end of the video, uh, please visit my Patreon um, group, which is Patreon, uh, patreon.com forward slash uh, online PLC support. And the link will be below, so just check it out. Um, this is this basically group is is uh, so far I'm getting really really good um, support and getting really good reaction to uh, giving them uh, the training that they need so this is for anybody serious about getting better training and getting uh, you know as far as learning more about automation and, and um, PLCs and just different different codes as far as that goes um, and uh, whether it be Rockwell um, anything Rockwell that we do uh, whether it be factory talk, um, you know, function blocks, structured text, uh, standard ladder logic, you know, for start from scratch. I mean, we, we basically do it all. But uh, so far, it's getting really, really good, re you know, reviews. Everybody's enjoying it. So uh, make sure I, that first and foremost, I give to them before I give to any, any other of my platforms so that I make sure that I meet my obligations and give them the very best I possibly can. So if you did stick to the end of this video, um, then please check that out. Um, again, thank you for your support on YouTube. If you do not choose to do that anyway, I still appreciate you subscribing and um, being part of the group, uh, being part of my YouTube. So again, so we'll come back and do another video right after this. Okay. All right. Thank you.